So as a health and performance coach, I get clients coming to me that aren't seeing improvements in their running. And when they come to me, it's obvious that they're either running too hard, so they're getting their heart rate too high all of the time, which does a whole bunch of things to affect the way that they produce energy, their hormones, responses, what fuel they're burning, whether they're gonna burn fat or glucose. So many factors come into it depending on how hard you're running. I'm excited to work with Dr. Phil Maffetone on this 60 minute masterclass where we cover the most common misconceptions about running performance. People think their running isn't improving is because they're not having enough carbohydrates. So they think that they're low on energy production. And those two things are very separate things that they need to be doing high intensity intervals for their running speed to improve. An animal doesn't train to be able to chase down their prey. They just are healthy and they can go fast when they need to. They are able to use all types of fuel for energy, fat included, and that's what we want you to be able to do. We're gonna be giving this masterclass to help you understand the key elements to improve your running performance. And you're gonna have the opportunity to put your questions forward to myself and Phil so that we can get to the bottom of all the little nuances that you have that might be holding you back. I was about 17 when I got into triathlon. I had in my mind at that point that I wanted to win Hawaii. And seeing the improvements as I got older and, and wiser, I was able to win in 2012. Really loved it, but I also had to deal with setbacks as those day here and there of fatigue became a week here and there. And I really had to learn about ego and awareness and rest and recovery. When I was 30 years old and those weeks of fatigue here and there became sort of months at a time and it just got tougher and tougher to string together training because the fatigue laid on injuries, laid on other problems as well. You know, I continued along into my mid thirties and then decided I needed to back off and really try and figure this out. I reached out to Phil in about 2016. That really did make a big difference. I again qualified for Hawaii, um, had a pretty good Ironman race at the end of 2016. It's just a massive rabbit hole of what is possible and now at an exciting place where it all fall, is falling into place and all the different layers make sense. So we can give you that light bulb moment like I had years ago and like I'm still having every other week. It's gonna be an amazing opportunity to spend time with Phil and myself. Even if you can't make it live, you can still sign up, submit your questions, and you'll have access to the recording after the event is over. Don't miss this exclusive masterclass with myself and Dr. Phil Maffetone.